Here's a picture of Galileo. And Galileo, you might remember, was right before Newton. Galileo was the person who realized that gravity will accelerate all objects with the same constant acceleration. And he was able to measure it accurately. He did some experiments rolling balls down inclined planes and was able to measure the acceleration due to gravity by measuring the acceleration of objects on an incline. Now before Galileo, the dominant thinking, the dominant idea was based on the thinking of Aristotle. And Aristotle said that heavy objects will fall faster. Now this is incorrect. But it's not unreasonable, right? You can imagine dropping a rock. Say here's a rock and a feather. And you release them the rock is going to fall down rather quickly and the feather is going to float around and hit the ground and land a lot more slowly. And the reason is because the feather has a large surface area for its weight. It doesn't weigh very much. All the little pieces are very lightweight because birds have to be lightweight in order to fly. So it's very lightweight and it also has a large area so as it moves downward it it catches a lot of wind, it catches a lot of air. There's a lot of area for air resistance to take an effect. So it moves down much more slowly and Aristotle would have certainly would certainly have been familiar with something like this. You drop a piece of parchment or a feather or something and it floats down to the ground slowly where a rock moves down relatively quickly. So this is not an unreasonable idea for him to think. But Aristotle didn't understand that the reason the feather fell more slowly was because of the air resistance. If you were to remove the air and drop them both, they would fall side by side and accelerate down at the same rate and stay right side by side the entire time. Galileo realized that. And he did a famous exper experiment, at least according to legend, did a famous experiment at the Leaning Tower of Pisa. He was from Pisa, Italy, and Pisa, one of the things it's known for is the Leaning Tower. It's probably more famous for the tower than it is for Galileo. Here's a picture of the tower, and because it's leaning, this would obviously be an ideal place to do an experiment. Galileo could stand up here on the edge. Um, we'll draw him in up there. So, and he would hold two objects and drop them and they would fall down and they would fall at the same rate and hit the ground at the same time. Now whether Galileo actually did this or not is the subject of some some debate. The, uh, it's, it's thought that probably one of his students actually did the experiment but it's a great story about the professors at the University of Pisa who were all thoroughly entrenched in the thinking of Aristotle and could not stand Galileo because he was contradicting them. When Galileo contradicted Aristotle, Galileo was contradicting every educated person of that day because they all followed the teachings of Aristotle. And this, this uh, experiment at the Leaning Tower would have disproved one of Aristotle's ideas, Aristotle's belief that heavy objects would hit the ground first. And Galileo would, would, was able to show experimentally that that was incorrect. And this, this was a really big deal historically. This isn't necessarily the kind of thing that would make the nightly news or make the, the town paper or something like that. But it was a big deal because this was the beginning of putting science on an experimental footing. Galileo, probably more than anyone, any other person except for perhaps Newton, was responsible for that. Before this, science was based largely on the authority of Aristotle, what Aristotle said. After this, science was based on what the experiments said. Your theory didn't have to line up with Aristotle. It had to line up with reality. Your, your explanation of the physical world had to actually match the actual physical world. And Galileo, since Galileo, a scientific theory has been considered true or false, has been considered valid or not, based on whether or not it matches the experimental evidence, what scientists would call the empirical evidence in the real world. So this was the beginning of putting science on a modern experimental footing rather than on the authoritarian footing of Aristotle. 
Now, if you wanted to test this yourself, you would need to go to a place where there was no atmosphere, so there was where there would be no air resistance. And you could drop two objects, one heavy and one light, side by side. If there were no air resistance, they should and they will fall exactly side by side. And there's a couple of places where you can do this. You could go to the moon, for example. Not that any of us could just get in a rocket and go there, but people did. And on the very first trip to the moon, which was Apollo 11, the astronauts took a hammer and a feather just for this purpose. And they carried them up there and they set up a camera and videotaped it. And, and you can see the hammer and the feather falling side by side. They fall more slowly than they would fall on Earth because the gravity of the moon is weaker. But you can see them, they fall exactly side by side and hit the ground at the same time. It's old, old footage from back in 1969, and the quality is not real good, but it's, it's, it, it, it shows it, and you can see it pretty clearly. Another place you can do this is in a vacuum chamber. And by vacuum, I don't exactly mean a vacuum cleaner. I mean a, a device like this. They have a, usually some kind of glass case where you can see inside it and there might be a valve up here and you hook a hose up here to a machine that sucks the air out and inside the machine there's some device that will release two objects at the same time like maybe a penny and a feather and under normal conditions where there would be air around there the, the penny would fall much faster than the feather for reasons we talked about earlier but after you suck the air out, they fall side by side. And you can see videos of this being done. This is a common, um, a common experiment done in high school physics classes. But both of these experiments, either dropping something on the moon or in a vacuum chamber, both of those would demonstrate that Galileo was correct, that in the absence of air resistance, all objects fall with the same constant acceleration.